Oh. I'm almost running out of things to say. Oh, you like that? Oh, they're there. Oh, just in time. How wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give all eight of these lovely, lovely ladies a nice round of applause. All right, if I call your number, we'd like you to step all the way down here on the middle of the front stage, and we, then we will say goodbye to three of them, and then we'll move on to the top five in question and answer. So our first person to come down is contestant number 10. Diva. Joining her is contestant number eight. Francesca. Next is contestant number five. Maya. Next is contestant number 11. And joining this elite group is contestant number seven. Shereen. All right, judges, we're gonna put it back in order for you so you don't get confused. It, no, that's okay, you don't have to do it. I'll just give them the numbers. You all just stand there and look beautiful. Number five, number seven, number eight, number 10, and number 11. Okay, now I'm gonna excuse everybody up here, but one, and before, when I do, I want you to give them a nice round of applause because they need this. Okay, first we're gonna send off Sherry Payne number 11. Let's give Sherry Payne. You've just been hopping all over. I think it's Easter Bunny Day all over. And now number 10, Diva. Let's give Diva a nice round of applause. Francesca, I had met you. I didn't know I realized I met you until I read that thing. All right, all right. And then we're going to leave, oh, I'm sorry. You're going to leave us. Jereen, okay? And I know you stay right there. Okay, and Scotty, you got the question for me? Oh, you gave it to me? This is a long question. With this being the elite contest of Continental, it means that all of you here tonight have been in and around the art of female impersonation for, we'll say, a few years, okay? Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that make you feel more qualified than the others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental Elite 2006. Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that make you feel more qualified than any others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental 2006? Maya. Thank you, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm contestant number five, Maya Douglas. There's quite a few things I've learned over the years. Um, I've been in a number of pageants. I've learned experience. I've learned professionalism. I've learned how to entertain, hopefully. But the most important thing I've ever learned is to be humble. To be, the most important thing is for people to see how you are off stage, more importantly than what you do on stage. What you do on stage is an act, people enjoy it, but they remember you off stage for your heart and for your soul. Thank you. Thank you, Maya. Were you at the plus pageant last night? Were you over there? It was exciting, wasn't it? it really exciting. All right, Jereen Jeffries, Honolulu, Hawaii. How are we doing? Great, thank you. I'm gonna read the question to you twice and then it's up to you to answer, okay? Okay. Now remember, we gotta keep it real quiet. 
You know, last night I was so proud of the audience, and all the years I've been doing this, it was the most respectful audience I'd ever had last night. And I, if any of you were there, I really mean that sincerely. Thank you. Shireen, with this being the elite contest of Continental, it means that all of you tonight have been in and around the art of female impersonation for a few years. Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you learned that make you feel more qualified than the others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental Elite 2006? Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that make you feel more qualified than the others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental 2006? Thank you, Jim Flynn. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished judges for your consideration. My name is Ms. Jereen Jeffries. <sighs> Let me take a breather. In response to the question, it's been a number of years that I've had entertainment. I've, what I learned from it is the respect that I get from all my, all my peers and my friends, and in which I return give respect back to them. And that's what I feel that if I'm crowned Continental Elite 2006, that I will give all the respect and love that I can give to everybody that, I'm, that I entertain. Thank you and aloha. Thank you, Jereen. And now I think we're number eight. God, aren't you glad you're not doing this? We gotta get Sean up here one night and drag and let him do it, you know? All right, Francesca. How you doing? Fabulous, and you? I'm gonna read this twice to you and then it's up to you, okay? With this being the elite contest of Continental, it means that all of you here tonight have been in and around the art of female impersonation for a few years. Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that make you feel more qualified than the others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental Elite 2006? Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that make you feel more qualified than the others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental Elite? Thank you, Jim. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished panel of judges. In response to the question, I would say I have learned two lessons. The first lesson being, in order to be a good entertainer, you must enjoy being entertained. That means you must enjoy the feeling of watching someone perform on stage and enjoy the performance that they give you. The second thing I've learned, the only thing constant is change. Only way to progress yourself is to change with times, change your attitude, and appear on stage, not always the same person, but adapt to your surroundings as well as the time that goes by. Thank you. Thank you. All right. God, these girls come up with some good answers. I could do this. Here's Amaya, the former Miss Continental Plus. We should give her a nice round of applause right here in front. Victoria Parker was there. I don't know where she went off to. Now she's in love. She might be running around, huh? She's not running around as much. Okay. Hello, Diva. This is contestant number 10, Diva. How are you? How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you tonight? I'm better now that it's almost over, believe it or not. It's been a very long weekend. I'm going to read this twice to you, and then it's for you, okay? With this being the elite contest of Continental, it means that all of you here, here, <laughs> excuse me, I'll start over. I've only read this three other times already. With this being the elite contest of Continental, it means that all of you here tonight have been in and around the art of female impersonation for many years. Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that make you feel more qualified than the others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental Elite 2006. Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that makes you feel more qualified than the others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental Elite 2006? Thank you, Jim. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and judges. My name is Diva. 
I think that um, for many, many years, I've learned that society tends to like to put labels on people. They, if they don't understand something, if they can't quite name it, and it doesn't fit into a category, they like to say, put a label on it. Thank you. I have learned that labels are nothing more for people to understand. I don't take labels personally. I believe that if someone can relate to me by putting a name on it, that's fine and well. But I've spent my life and my career breaking down the barriers that come with those labels and those names so people get to know that I'm a human being and I'm a representative of a community that are all human beings as well. Thank you and good night. Thank you, Diva. Did, they, did he want to come up and answer the question, too? I didn't know if that's what he was asking. Oh, I thought he wanted to come up and answer the question. OK. Oh. There's always one. Yes, always one. Our contestant number 11, Sherry Payne. All right, Sherry, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm going to read this question to you twice, and then I'm going to hand this to you, and it's all for you, okay? Okay. All right. With this being the elite contest of Continental, it means that all of you here tonight have been in and around the art of female impersonation for a few years. Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that make you feel more qualified than the others tonight to be crowned Miss Continental Elite 2006. Based on your own personal experiences, what are the most important lessons you have learned that make you feel more qualified than the others to be crowned Miss Continental Elite? Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cherie Payne. I'm contestant number 11. The thing that I've learned that can make me be Miss Elite I feel is from an entertainer named Miss Leslie Regine. She taught me, oh, did you all know? You can clap for her, that's great. She was very magical and, and, and phenomenal. And I learned a lot from her and Chili Pepper. Those were the two entertainers that I first saw when I came here. And I was so nervous and so afraid. And they told me, just go out there and have a good time. You're talented. I do have a God-given talent. I do know that and I'm proud of that. And it's magical, and you all just don't know. I love it so much. I love entertaining, and it's just real to me. And I love it, and I'm going to share with you for the rest of my life if I can. Thank you. Cherry Payne, ladies and gentlemen. That's why.